What's going on YouTube? Welcome back. Twitchy here with some more Guild War action. Today we are going to be facing one of our top guilds in the Minutemen Alliance, Seaman, so it's going to be a good one. No hold bar. Uh, we've got to try hard. We've got to get three wins. So if you guys do enjoy, make sure you thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe so you see my future videos. And let's get started. All right, guys, it's our third war of season one Guild Wars. We are holding rank one with 801 points. Seaman coming in at number two and Avon coming in at number three with 750. So our current opponent is going to be Classyman, aka Seaman. We've got a lot of strong players here. John, oh my gosh, John is, you know, he's always hitting rank one season finishes, but stuff. Uh, <laughs> kind of some funny names for sure but yeah lots of strong players so starting off we are actually going to be going against butt stuff okay i know he's gonna love hearing his name during this video so butt stuff butt stuff butt stuff here we go we've got some strong units on the top team with uh looks like turn two for sure um this is a turn one don't let him fool you, his Alessia is super duper fast, so you kind of have to consider that. Then also for this top team, we really have to worry about Cordelia. She is a super popular broken hero that was just the Matrix unit. If you did go for her, congrats. You just uh, won a lot of matches with her. So we are going to just try and outspeed with Ali on the bottom team. This might be greedy. I might completely ruin this for the Minutemen Alliance or the Minutemen Guild, sorry, because Classic Min is also part of the Alliance. However, it's it's definitely worth the risk. His Alessia might outspeed me, and then we won't get any value from Halia's skill two or skill three, which would be totally awful. However, I hope that 360 speed is enough to get the job done. So the main idea with this team is Halia is going to skill two into your Ryan. Royce is there to cleanse any RNG stuns from Dark Orc in the very beginning or some control down the road. He also can help silence Mythasia and Dark Orc as well. And that, you know, I don't know if you guys know if heroes are silenced, they can't activate skills. So they can't revive someone. They can't throw the shield of mercy out. That's pretty cool feature or a pretty cool way of preventing heroes from popping their spells so that's also why we kind of built focus on our royce anyways we also have this newer light elite the radiant pixie we're mainly just trying to make use out of the morale boost the trait the upgraded trait really it gives attack up as well as crit damage up which is going to help your ryan's damage of course and i'm really just hoping that's enough to burst everyone except for maybe just Mythasia. The top team is simple. You guys have seen me use this team comp day after day after day. I am a twin abuser, yes. However, the main idea is to outspeed with Dark Ophelia. Light Ophelia is there to keep me sustained up as well as to get that twin synergy going. And then we have our own Light Nick, who is going to definitely, he's, he's going to, be morphed in the very beginning because Cordelia is here, but that's a okay because we do have Light Ophelia and she will cleanse his morph as soon as she moves. And then we have Light Yolanda, who's going to be our main damage dealer. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I am bringing the Smoldering Flames instead of my usual uh, Rage Aura spell that I like to do when I'm cleaving opponents because there's a nice little unique effect if you do use the smoldering flames spell on divine yolanda's turn it will completely ignore defense so it just does an insane amount of damage all right guys let's get to the battle okay let's see how this goes wish me luck all right so we're not starting off on auto light nick does get morphed right away like we said earlier uh who do we want to start working down probably cordelia yeah we're gonna want to take out cordelia and then for anyone that doesn't we didn't really go over this last battle but they did add this buff for defenses in guild battles final damage taken is reduced by 30 percent 
they get that for two I, I believe it's two turns it might be two rounds but it was a nice little adjustment to help out defenses okay so we are going to do our ult here to give Lightophilia a bonus turn uh, we are going to definitely ult here with our Lightophilia because that's going to give our Light Yolanda the Concerto of Light buff here we're going to do the massive damage with the spell I wasn't as much damage as I thought it was going to be, but we still might, yeah, we, we still do kill here. Wait, hold on. Hold on, we might be in a little trouble. Depending. Okay, so this is going to go back to, all right, we're, we're Gucci now. We're good. This is what I thought was going to happen. So I, I must have not tuned my light Yolanda and light Nick before this so that was kind of unfortunate but it kind of worked out in our favor and here we are yeah this is a win kind of cutting a little close with uh dark Ophelia there but we we're able to actually keep everybody alive luckily and then Light Nick is massively debuffed. Hopefully he didn't take her out. Nice. There we go. And first team has been won. Okay, so here we go. What is going to happen? All right, so Halia does outspeed. Um, Royce does get off those clutch lenses for us. Now, uh, what do I want to do? I Okay, so guys, I'll be real with you. I was not considering the, the damage down... Sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. The damage down buff given in the beginning of the battle. I'm not sure if we'll be able to cleave this. Everything looks like it's been set up, yeah? We've got our increased damage buffs from our Radiant Pixie guy. It's Everything is all a part of the plan. It just depends on if we have enough damage here. We got to break a 44k Methasia, a 35k Dark Orc on guard set as well, guys on guard set okay so i'm just gonna go ahead and basic into methasia we do get off the silence that's super duper nice and now we we're definitely skill twoing into your ryan please don't kill all right moment of truth we're going to rage aura how much are we gonna do how much damage oh not that bad actually Hold on, we might be able to work with this. We might be able to work with this. Okay. So, skill two, I'm thinking. Oh, yeah, for sure we go into uh, Dark Orc here. Yep, so Dark Orc is taken out. We can steal this pot unkillable buff from Garno there with your Ryan. Shout out your Ryan. Yeah, he's actually kind of nice in the in the Guild War environment. Not too shabby. So then here we're just going to go for the kill. Yeah, and then Methasia, it, there's no way for her to heal. Royce will always be able to. So guys, this is a another shout out to uh, a Royce. He's such an insanely strong epic. He's a two turn silence on his basic ability. So Methasia will never be able to get off any spell, any ability. This is why Royce is one of my favorite epics. So here we're just going to be able to, hopefully we can do enough damage and be able to, yeah, there's no way we don't, right? This Radiant Pixie has a really low cooldown on that skill two, which has a joint attack, which is always gonna bring our, our, our main damage dealer, which happens to be Orion. There's no way Methasia is gonna be able to survive that. So. Our first battle has been won. We'll see you in battle two. Alrighty, we have our second opponent, John. His first team has Dark Andre, A5 Nero. It looks like he's just going to try to cleave me. He's just trying to go fast, basically. So it's going to be a race for sure. We're going to bring our twins for the top one. You could bring in Fire Liza to try to contest him, but he's probably going to be uh, with the 15 speed aura that Nero brings to the table. His Desdemona is going to be around 380 if I have to guess. So you you got to make your Fire Melisa super duper speedy if you are going to try to Agile Leap. 
um, but we're not really going to want to risk it because like I said, it is a try hard day. Our second team is Garanol, Metheja, Cordelia, and Silent. Silent's an interesting one. She just got buffed to where her RNG ignore damage is now 50% instead of a 30% chance to activate. So that's super sweet because I do believe it activates every round or maybe every other round. However, super wood heavy defense. So I'm thinking we bring in a, a really good fire nuker like Alessia. Maybe even Garinol would do a really good job here. Uh, I also want something to counter all the buffs that are going to be applied by Silent. So we're going to be bringing in Krazer Zag and trying a Shane Wombo combo cleave with him. Let's see how it works out. So like I said, first team, try hard, strictly business, twins, Lightning, Holy Yolanda. Hopefully everyone survives. And then our second team is going to be Shane, Raised Urzag, Alessia, and Royce. Royce is here to counter Cordelia, of course. For you, all you guys having issues with Cordelia, build a unit like Simma, like Royce, like Lona. Anyone that cleanses is going to help you out against her. So let's get started. Okay, so we're not on auto. Oh, we actually get outsped. Oh my gosh. So he just outsped my goodness. His Desdemona is crazy fast. He just outsped Dark Ophelia with her 10% speed lead. So he's around 390, guys. This guy, he means business. So we're going to use our spell uh, with Lightning. It really doesn't matter because it does pretty decent damage with Lightning too. Should have saved it for Holy Yolanda, but it is what it is. We are definitely going to ult with our Dark Ophelia. We need to proc the bonus turn with Light Ophelia to try to help us sustain as much as possible. Holy Yolanda should get the Concerto buff, and she should be ulting twice now. Okay, we're going to kill SSA. Please go into Nero. Now all we have to really worry about is... Yeah, all we really have to worry about is Light Nick, and I'm thinking we go for the basic hit. He might resist. This is kind of why I still recommend people build resist on their Lightnicks just for this instance because, you know, you know Lightnick could potentially 1v4 your team if he still had uh, offensive buff on him, increased damage, all that kind of stuff because I don't really have mitigation outside of Holy Yolanda not being able to be one shot, but I don't know. Just, just, a, just a thought. What do you guys think? Resistance or no resistance on Lightnicks? Personally, I'm a fan. I say just shoot for at least like 120. Maybe maybe 180 should be your goal. But I just like it. It's it's a little niche. More units are ignoring resistance. So I feel like resistance's value is going further and further down. But I still feel like it's a solid stat. Uh, now we're, we're pretty much game over. We've got invincibility from Holy Yolanda. Light Nick can't really damage us. We can sustain with Light Ophelia. This team comp is pretty much auto winnable. I don't know if you guys saw, but we got outsped. We got outsped completely and we still were okay because Dark Ophelia is bonkers. Actually insane. Her trait, uh, whenever an ability is moved, it knocks someone to the back of the 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 turn order. The, everyone's turn order. So it's it's broken. I don't know. If you pulled Dark Ophelia, congrats. So we're going into Team 2. So as we thought, Cordelia is going to pop her morphs. Royce is going to continue to cleanse them because Royce is the G. Uh, we want to get our silence off on Methasia for sure. Resisted! Oh my gosh, I was not expecting that. Okay, hold on. Hold your horses. We are going to have to buff up Raised Urzag for sure. We did not anticipate to get resisted. My Royce doesn't get resisted too often, fellas. So this is super interesting. We want to go for Methasia now because we didn't get that silence off, unfortunately. Um, however, I think we go for skill two here. So we can get the kill on Garinol and then we could just go ahead and silence her so she can't get off any crazy spells and make Garinol get a kill, which is an awesome idea. For all of you guys struggling to make defenses, if you can make an aggressive defense and just take out 
one or two of your opponent's heroes not necessarily win the match but help out for the next match it's a it's it's a nice strategy i think it's worth considering so let's go into team number three john it was a good battle you are super fast good game my friend we have our third and final target of today's guild war barcode aka han his defense has got holy alanda nero shark andre and dark nick so it's like a a very strong it's like an anti-cleave a turn to cleave anti-cleave because dark nick is in here if you do too much burst damage if you leave him alive he's gonna kill you if you debuff andre's gonna kill you he's also contesting speed because he threw a nero which is also big damage he's also super tanky and then <laughs> light yolanda who i assume is gonna start off with the Holy sm the smoldering flame spell to try to one shot somebody. So lots of big damage coming from this team number one. We're for sure bringing the twins against it. Uh, number two, we've got Dark Valyria, Light Virgil, Super Tanky Bruiser, uh, Tara Mitigation, Dark Orc for the RNG control. So we're for sure bringing in Royce. We've got to bring in someone that ignores defense. So I'm kind of thinking perhaps garinol perhaps rick and if we are going to try to cleave we need a buffer so for today's teams we're bringing in of course the twins on top we are bringing in garinol rick halia and royce for the bottom team uh we're trying to cleave him we're, we're really just trying to cleave him i know there's that damage reduction buff but hopefully Garinol can ignore enough defense where that doesn't even matter. And it, it's okay because we do have Rick uh, to kind of, if, if Garinol can't pop Light Virgil, Rick can kind of help us out there if he survives. So that's, that's kind of the win condition. Rick has to survive. I know he's going to get procced out of stealth because of Dark Orc. So I'm really hoping he, uh, I'm really hoping that we can pop him with Garinol round one and not really worried about it afterwards. We're bringing in Rage Aura to really help out Garinol's damage. Uh, Smoldering Flames to synergize with Holy Yolanda. Let's do this. So we do get turn one. Um, yes, I'm just gonna save the Smoldering Flame spell for Light Yolanda. We are going to ult, get the bonus turn. And also the max HP buff that Dark Ophelia brings is kind of clutch too because it makes your guys even beefier. Uh, we are going to ult here. And then we are going to use this. It does kill, that's super nice. And okay, let me think about this. Yeah, so we don't want Dark Andre to come back alive. If you didn't know, anybody that does get killed by doesn't even matter <laughs> anybody that does get killed by light yolanda can't be revived so that's super insane she's the only hero that can do that i believe so we don't get stunned by anybody that's a little unfortunate because i do like taking advantage of that bonus turn but so far everything's going according to plan we're gonna skill two into garinol try to buffer up with the big boy rage or let's see how much this does if it doesn't do enough we've we've lost we don't kill okay okay we are never mind never mind guys every single time i always doubt the pvp queen but she always comes back and represents so that was our third and final match we did good we got all three wins i hope you guys enjoyed the cleave i really like experimenting with big burst damage uh as long as you bring in the correct supports as long as you bring in the team comp that you kind of have built an idea before you've even gone into the battle. I, I hope this helps you guys out. I really do. Let me know what you guys thought of these guild wars. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.